Total Preparation Lucknow welcomes you all to its online program. Friends, in this video we would be discussing 100 one liner current affairs for the period of 1st of August till 15th of August 2020. So let's uh, quickly begin with our first pointer. Which organization recently organized the National Digital Conference on Ease of Doing Business? So the name of the organization which organized this uh, national conference is Confederation of Indian Industry also called CII. Which day is celebrated as a National Handloom Day? National Handloom Day is celebrated on 7th of August. Who was sworn in as the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka for the fourth time? Mahinda Rajapaksha. According to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, there is a plan to construct a transshipment port in Great Nicobar Island at a cost of how many crores? So this uh, port would incur a cost of 10000 crores. The Prime Minister of which country? Mr Hassan Diab has recently announced his resignation. Lebanon Which state government has launched a new scheme for farmers facing loss of crop due to drought, excessive rainfall or unseasonal rain? It is uh, in the state of Gujarat. What is the name of the scheme launched by the government of Gujarat at a cost of rupees 4500 crore for farmers facing crop loss due to drought, excessive rainfall or unseasonal rain? So the name of this scheme which has been launched in Gujarat is Mukhya Mantri Kisan Sahai Yojana. Which state government has announced to implement the Arunodaya scheme from 2nd of October 2020 which is aimed at providing financial assistance to about 17 lakh families. So this particular scheme has been implemented in the state of Assam. Which country has successfully tested its advanced missile defense system arrow 2 ballistic missile interceptor israel india provided how many million us dollars as an aid to maldives recently 500 million us dollars aid was provided to maldives by india mr manish prabhat the joint secretary in the ministry of external affairs has been appointed as the next ambassador of india to which country uzbekistan when is the world elephant day celebrated it is celebrated on 12th of august on the occasion of 74th independence day which new health mission was announced by the prime minister national digital health mission also called ndhm The three athletes from Pakistan who won the medal in the South Asian Games held in Nepal last year have been banned for how many years? So they have been banned for a period of 4 years. According to a study based on satellite data, the habitat of hornbill birds are in danger due to high rates of deforestation in which state? Arunachal Pradesh. Mount Sinabung volcano that erupted recently is located on which island of Sumatra so it's located in Indonesia Saudi Arabia has ceased its debt and oil supply for which country ending the decades old friendship between the two countries Pakistan which country has provided 1 million US dollars to Antigua and Barbuda to face the outbreak of COVID-19 India The historic peace agreement was signed on 13th August 2020 between the United Arab Emirates and which country with the help of US President Trump? Israel. The Supreme Court has recently convicted which senior lawyer to contempt of court? Prashant Bhushan. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has recently released ranking of states under which scheme? Amrut Yojana 
Indian Air Force has deployed how many light combat helicopters manufactured by HAL in Ladakh region on August 12, 2020? 2. The Municipal Corporation of which state became the first state to hand over urban forest land rights sheet to urban dwellers? Chhattisgarh. When is the World Organ Donation Day celebrated? It is celebrated on 13th of August. Which ministry has recently launched the Swachh Bharat Mission Academy? So it has been launched by Ministry of Jal Shakti. Which Indian origin women has been elected by the American Democrats Party as nominee of the Vice Presidentship? Kamala Harris. Which country has recently approved the use of Sputnik V vaccine for uh, Corona? Russia. Which state government has announced the Vyasar Cheyutha scheme for making women Atmanirbhar and promoting their role in entrepreneurship? Andhra Pradesh. Which organization has recently announced to support the communities most affected by the monsoon in India? United Nations. How much loan amount has been announced by the Delhi government for the street vendors of the city? 20,000. Who is the only Indian actor amongst top 10 actors as per the Forbes list of top grossing actors? Akshay Kumar. When is the International Youth Day celebrated? It is celebrated on 12th of August. Which famous Urdu poet died in Indore at the age of 70 on August 11, 2020 during the treatment of COVID-19? Rahat Indori. The central government has announced the commencement of trial of 4G mobile services in some parts of which state from 15th of August? Jammu and Kashmir. Who has been appointed as the new chairman of the Indian Council for Research and International Economic Relations? Pramod Bhaseen. Which project has been announced by the Indian Armed Forces to revive amidst tensions with China? Project Cheetah. Amidst tensions with China, the Indian Army and Air Force are keeping a close watch through which drone on Chinese Army stationed at the forward base near the China border in East Ladakh. So the name of the drone is Heron Drone. Which country has manufactured the upgraded Heron Drones under Project Cheetah? Israel. When is the World Biological Fuel Day celebrated? It is celebrated on 10th of August. The Prime Minister recently inaugurated the 2,312 km long Chennai Andaman Nicobar Islands Submarine Optical Fiber Cable Connectivity Project. When and where did the Prime Minister lay the foundation stone of this project? So, the foundation stone for this project was laid on 30th of December 2018 in Port Blair. Which state government launched the Indra Van Mitan Yojana? Chhattisgarh. Which day is celebrated as the World Tribal Day? 9th of August is celebrated as the World Tribal Day. The first silk training and production center will be established in which state? Arunachal Pradesh. The Food Safety and Standards Authority of India recently announced that the sale of junk and unhealthy food should be prohibited within how many meters of schools and educational institutions. So it should be prohibited within 50 meters of the educational institutions. Which state government has introduced a new state industrial development policy for the year 2020-23? Andhra Pradesh. Who has been appointed as a new chairman of the UPSE? Professor Pradeep Kumar Joshi. Which state government has recently announced to create its own board of education from the next session? Delhi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has recently launched how many crore rupees financing facility under Agricultural Infrastructure Fund through video conferencing? 1 lakh crore rupees. 
To promote the production of military equipment in the country, the central government has decided to ban the import of how many military equipment, including artillery guns, assault rifles, transport aircraft, radar, etc. 101. ICC has handed over the hosting of 2021 T20 World Cup to which country? India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the National Sanitation Centre on 8th of August 2020 in which state? Delhi. Who has been appointed as the new Comptroller and Auditor General of India by President Ramnath Kovind? Girish Chandra Murmu. In which state is Kozhikode situated where 18 people including two pilots died in an Air India plane crash? Kerala. Where is the annual International Film Festival organized in India? It's organized in Goa. Which smartphone manufacturer has decided to distribute more than 2500 smartphones to the children in India for promoting online education? Xiaomi. Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation, Amrut, is implemented by which union ministry? So it has been implemented by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Women's Global Development and Pos Prosperity, WGDP, which was recently seen in the news, is an initiative of which country? United States of America. What is Ceres that was recently referenced in a study of NASA's Dawn spacecraft? Ceres is a dwarf planet. Which organization has published a report named Elephants Not Commodities? World Animal Protection The Supreme Court has given a ruling on equal succession rights of daughters citing which act? As per the Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005 Which e-commerce platform has launched a vendor-driven campaign called Itna Asan Hai? So this has been launched by Amazon. Which Indian company has entered the list of top 100 companies in the Fortune Global 500 list? Reliance Industries. Which Union Ministry has launched Minimum Standards of Architectural Education Regulations? Ministry of Education. In June this year, what percentage of India's industrial production decreased due to lockdown compared to the previous year? 16.6%. Which cities Metro Rail Corporation and Afcons, a private engineering company, jointly built 43.4 meters deep ventilation shaft? It is the deepest rail shaft in India. Kolkata Metro Rail Corporation, also called KMRC. Who has been elected as the next chairman of Steel Authority of India Limited Sale? Soma Mondal India has signed a contract with which country for the development of five ecotourism zones in Edu City? Maldives Who has recently decided to step down from the post of President of the Indian Council for Research on International Economic Relations? She held this post for 15 years. Isher Judge Aluwalia Manitombi Singh, who died recently, was associated with which spot? He was associated with football. Which organization has launched a new loyalty platform called Nth Rewards? National Payment Corporation of India, abbreviated as NPCI. A new railway museum has been inaugurated in which city of Karnataka? Hubli. Who won the Asian College of Journalism Award for Investigative Journalism? Nitin Sethi Which Indian city uses female symbols on traffic signals? Mumbai Which organization shall implement the Eat Right India movement which won the Food System Vision Prize? Food Safety and Standards Authority of India abbreviated as FSSAI What is the theme of International Tribal Day which is celebrated on 9th of August every year? So the theme of International Tribal Day is COVID-19 and Indigenous Peoples Resilience. What is the Parliament of Afghanistan called? 
so it is known as loya jurga in pashto language which indian state or union territory has launched its electric vehicle policy delhi how many crore rupees of credit facility has been offered by reserve bank of india to national bank for agriculture and rural development nabad and national housing bank nhp 10000 crores which indian organization released the business confidence index national council of applied economic research the first kisan rail ran between which two states so the first kisan rail ran between devlali in nashik maharashtra to danapur in bihar According to the data released by RBI the country's foreign exchange reserves after a spike to 11.938 billion dollars have reached a high of how many billion dollars in the week ending 31st of July so it has reached to 534.568 billion dollars On 7th of August 2020 the Export Import Bank of India also called Exim Bank granted a line of credit of 250 million US dollars to which country to improve the quality of power supply Mozambique Which Indian institute has tied up with Gates Foundation and GAVI for supply of COVID-19 vaccine Serum Institute Which country recently decided to ban TikTok and WeChat and has given 45 days time to these companies America The 75th anniversary of which event was marked across the world on August 6 2020 first atomic bomb attack on Japan Which space company's Mars test rocket was successfully tested with an upward landing SpaceX Which technology company has partnered with Prasar Bharati for the AI based Independence Day celebrations Google Which financial institution has announced the establishment of an innovation hub for financial inclusion RBI India has extended a loan of 18 million US dollars to which country for expansion of the facility of fishing Maldives In which country recently 2750 metric tons of explosive ammonium nitrate stored in a warehouse at its port caused a catastrophic explosion Lebanon which is the capital of uh, Beirut Which Indian bank is going to launch artificial intelligence driven multilingual voice bot AXA Access Bank Under which scheme more than 44 lakh tons of food grains were received by states and union territories So it was received under the scheme Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana 2 Which technology company recently launched a new file sharing feature nearby share for its android users Google The first anniversary of the formation of which two union territories is celebrated on 5th of August Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh Union Minister of State for Culture and Tourism Independent Charge Mr Prahlad Singh Patel inaugurated the Tenzol Golf Resort project in which state on 4th of August This project was implemented under the Swadesh Darshan scheme of the Ministry of Tourism Mizoram Whose appointment has been approved by RBI as a new CEO of HDFC Bank? Shashidhar Jagdishan. John Hume, the 1998 Nobel Peace Prize winner who died at the age of 83, was related to which country? Northern Ireland. Which Indian journalist and special correspondent of the Indian Express has been named the winner of the Prem Bhatia Award for political reporting? Deepankar Ghosh. who is the first non-white person to be printed on a british coin mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi setu which has been in news recently is located in which state it's located in bihar so friends with this we come to the end of this video thank you so much for being with us 
We have tried to include few more important questions this time, which would be really helpful for you from the point of view of upcoming competitive exams. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share our video. In order to keep getting the updates on other current affairs related topics, please press the bell icon. Thank you.